Hey guys, just want to show you a powerful feature that can be used inside of Cable Basher. So here you can see we've made a zip tie. We got uh, three sections here, the start, the middle, and the end. Now the key here is the middle section is tileable. Um, so if we manually tiled it, we could do this. We would snap it there and weld those verts and we would have a larger zip tie. Well, we don't want to do that. We want to have it automated. So we have these three sections. We've already made it into a cable brush by going selecting these and doing File, Save Selection as New Cable. And you can see it's right here. So what we can do, we'll delete that out of the file and we'll go over to some of our cables we have over here. So we'll select a few of these and we'll isolate them. Now what we can do is hit Preview and we'll see our zip tie. And you can see that the length of it is automatically calculated based on the length of the spine. Now if we adjust our radius here, we can get some pretty... Uh, gnarly looking cable ties, which is perfect for what we would want. Now in some cases, you might want to uh, have it wrap around on itself. What you can do is make that shape of what a zip tie would look like when it's wrapped around maybe a cylinder or something. We'll put this in here just for visibility's sake. We'll select our, our uh, spline here and we'll look at the cable and hit preview. And now we can see, we can adjust some of these numbers here. And now we got a perfect zip tie going around a cylinder. And now if you want this inside part to be tiled more, you can adjust the middle scale. And you can see you can get a much finer look there. Or you can go larger with it. And we'll just leave it at the default. You can even add twist if you want to add some additional kind of aesthetic to the visuals of it. Uh, but that's a zip tie.